Welcome to Optimize Risk Management. I am Karen Muller, and I will be sharing risk management techniques to help you with your small to medium-sized business on a continuous basis. Today's topic is about establishing your risk management framework. Whether you are an organization of two or 200,000 people, a risk management framework is essential for your business's success. All businesses have risk. When you know what they are and have a plan in place for managing these risks, you will be more prepared to withstand the ups and downs these risks may pose to your ability to achieve your business objectives. A risk management framework is your playbook for how you intend to manage the risk your business faces. It helps you think through and communicate your risk management strategy for the risks that you are exposed to. It communicates, among other things, the following. How risk management plays a role in your business. How willing you are to be exposed to risk. Who is responsible for managing risk and how your risk should be managed, monitored, and reported on. A sound risk management plan will help you rest easier knowing that you have a playbook in place. It can also help demonstrate to your stakeholders and investors that your business is a sensible one. To them, it demonstrates that you have thought about what could go wrong and have a plan in place to mitigate potential pitfalls. Who wouldn't invest in a business like that? Your risk management approach does not have to be complicated. The time you invest in managing your risk should be tailored for the size and complexity of your business. But there are some key components that should be considered when building your risk management framework, and they are all interconnected. Start with your business strategy and risk culture. This is when you consider what role risk management plays in the setting of your business strategy and the target behavior for risk management in your organization. Your culture is important because it sets the tone for how employees approach risk management challenges as they arise. Meaning, do you want to encourage an open and transparent discussion of risk? Or should risk only be discussed within closed doors, for example? You should formally document your expectations for how you manage your risk in a framework document and risk management policies, depending on the size of your organization. This is helpful when you need to explain to your employees and business stakeholders, such as investors, how risks are managed in your organization. Your risk appetite is the level of risk you are willing to accept or tolerate in pursuit of your business objectives. If you know your appetite level for a risk, you can use that as a standard of measurement for the risk that you are exposed to. This measurement is your risk profile. Your risk profile should provide a point in time aggregated view of your business's risk management status. Your framework should explain how you determine your risk profile. Your governance model interlinks with these fundamental components because it defines the roles and responsibilities for managing your risk. Your procedures describe how your framework and policy should be implemented in your organization. If these are not being followed correctly, it can impact the effectiveness of your framework and the accuracy of your risk profile. You should also document the categories of risk that you are exposed to in your framework. You will use this as the basis for describing your risk appetite and measuring your risk profile. Last but not least, you will need to document indicators that help you determine whether your risk is at a level that is outside of your appetite. If you have defined all of these components in your risk framework, you are on your way to practicing sound risk management. Well done.